Good morning, my precious, wonderful brothers and sisters. How are you guys doing on this morning? You know, we love you guys so much. And it's such an honor and a privilege to be bringing in these morning prayer sessions in the presence of God as we worship God and as we dig into the Word of God. And we know on yesterday we talked about give the devil no access to your life. And the day before that, we talked about binding the strong man brings healing. Well, on this morning, we are talking about the recipe for healing. The recipe for healing. Oh, I can't wait to get into this word. It's going to encourage you, going to build your faith, and going to give you some strategies how to prepare yourself to receive your miracles from the Lord. You're doing wonders in our midst. You're doing wonders in our midst. Come on and help me worship the Lord this morning. You're doing wonders in our midst. Sing it to the Lord with me, church. You're doing wonders. You're doing wonders in our midst. Faithful God. Faithful God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You're doing wonders in our midst. Sing to the Lord. You're doing wonders in our midst. Lord, we love you, Jesus. You're doing wonders in our midst. Mighty God, you are this morning. You're doing wonders in our midst. Faithful God. Faithful God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Lord, you are awesome in this place. Sing it. You are awesome in this place. Mighty God, you are this morning. You are awesome in this place. We love you this morning, Lord Jesus. You are awesome in this place. Faithful God. Faithful God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You are mighty in this place, Jesus. You are mighty in this place. Come on and sing it to the Lord with me, church. You are mighty in this place. You are mighty, mighty, mighty God. You are mighty in this place. Faithful God. Faithful God. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Listen here, saints, we are about to go into the word of God, but I just want to pray with you, Father, in the name of Jesus Christ. God, let the word of God come alive to your people. David said, your word is like, the taste of your word is like honey to my taste. Give your people a hunger and a greater appreciation for the word of God. Let your word become real to them. Let it become real spiritual food, spiritual nourishment, God. David said, thy word, O Lord, is a lamp unto my feet and a light to my path. Faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of God. Forever, O Lord, thy word is settled in heaven. Jesus, you said, man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeds from the mouth of the living God. Minister to your children this morning. God, you said your word is like a hammer that breaks the rock in pieces. Break every shackle, every chain, every fetter this morning, God, as we teach the word of the living God. Let faith come alive in the hearts of your people. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Glory to God. Let us jump right into the word of God. We are going into the book of Mark chapter 5, verses 25 through 24. And we are talking about the recipe for healing. Listen to this. A very familiar story with the woman with the issue of blood. We all know this story real good. But what I want us to do is, I want us to pick this story to pieces and glean from this passage of scripture. And when we see what this woman did for her to receive her miracle, 
this would come alive to some of you and you would realize that as you apply yourself and do exactly what this woman did, now I'm not saying in every situation, but this scripture and this passage right here, this will certainly be a roadmap for someone to receive a miracle from God. And this is why we are actually focusing on different areas concerning healing. As we talk about Jesus Christ, the healer, we are focusing on different strategies, different tactics, different things that people did to receive their miracles from the Lord. Well, as we apply these same tactics and strategies and wisdom that God is giving us, we too will receive the same type of miracles and you know, whatever miracle it is you need, as you apply the principles, you too will receive a miracle from God. Are you listening to me? So let's go without any further hesitation to Mark chapter five, verses 25 through 34. The Bible says, and a certain woman which had an issue of blood for 12 years. This woman was bleeding nonstop for 12 years. I want you to hear me. She had a flow of blood. Now watch this. She was considered unclean. She was not supposed to be out in public among anybody because to be out in public among everyday people with this type of problem that she had, the Old Testament says such a person should be pretty much immediately stoned to death. Now, I'm, I'm, I'm setting up the background here because when you read these passages of scripture, you gotta actually take your time because every verse, every word, the Holy Spirit had those words in there for a reason. And if we don't study our Bibles properly, you'll just read over it and miss the whole meat of what the Holy Ghost is trying to say to you. So we are, we are painting this picture and we are digging into the word to see what this woman went through and the type of risks that she was willing to take to get her miracle. Now, just a mere fact, now that you understand that she was considered unclean and that she should be stoned publicly to be out among people, now you now this story takes on a whole new meaning because what you what you will learn from this woman is that she was willing to go out on a limb and even to take a risk to get a miracle from God. And sometimes we have to take risks. It's all a part of our faith. Listen to verse 26. And she had suffered many things of many physicians and had spent all that she had and was nothing bettered but rather grew worse. Well, she was a wise woman. There's nothing wrong with going to a doctor. Man, I thank God for doctors. Like I say, if it wasn't for the doctors, half the church would be dead. I thank God for them because God have given them wisdom as well to help us. But there are just some things that's beyond their reach, that's beyond their knowledge, that's beyond their learning. And only Jesus can fix those things. She had suffered many things of many physicians and had spent all that she had and was nothing better, but rather grew worse. So she just keep getting worse and worse. This woman was nearing the grave. Are you hearing me? Now watch this. Now I'm going to read verse 27 in the King James Version, and then I'm going to read it from the Amplified Version so you can get the meat of what's happening here. Verse 27 says, When she had heard of Jesus, she came in the press behind and touched his garment. Well, the Amplified in verse 27 says, when she had heard the reports concerning Jesus, she came up behind him in the throng and touched his garment. Gives this passage a totally new meaning. What, what it tells us right here is that this is where this woman got her faith from. Because when we get into verse 34, we will see Jesus say, daughter, your faith have made you whole. So when you read it, and because the Bible says faith comes, by hearing and hearing by the word of God. Faith comes for whatever it is you need. If you are needing a healing from God, you have to do what this woman did. She surrounded herself with people who kept on talking about the reports of the miracles that Jesus was performing on the sick. She heard how Lazarus was raised from the dead, how blind Bartimaeus received his sight. She heard how they were about to bury the widow of Nain, bury her only son, and Jesus touched the coffin, and the man was raised from the dead. She heard the story of John 5, how Jesus raised up the paralyzed man. She heard of the man who had leprosy, that Jesus cleansed him. She heard that when people went to his meetings, and many of his meetings, every single person was healed. So this woman got around the people that was giving reports concerning the miracles that was taking place in Jesus' ministry. And the more she heard those testimonies, the more 
more her faith increase to believe God for her own miracle. And this is why we encourage you guys, if you've received a healing listening to one of our broadcasts, listen, send in your photo and send in a complete detail of your testimony. We will call you and confirm those facts. But once we do, we want your photo so we can put your picture up during one of our live broadcasts or even pre-recorded broadcasts and put your testimony up there. Because when people see your face and your testimony, what it does is it builds more faith in other people to receive their miracles of healing from the Lord. You know, Revelation chapter 12, verse 11, that's a strategy. And this is why the Holy Ghost have this woman's testimony recorded in the Bible. Because Revelation chapter 12, verse 11 says, they overcame him by the blood of the lamb and by the word of their testimony. So the testimony, when people testify about the miracles that Jesus have done in their life, what it does is it gives someone else faith to receive that same miracle or even another miracle, but it builds people faith. Are you listening? So the, the Amplified says, when she had heard the reports concerning Jesus, it gave her her faith to get a miracle. So look, you guys, you say you want a miracle of healing, but from when I read some of your prayer requests, I can tell you guys are not focused on your healing because you just have everything jumbled up together. Listen, you have to, there's something you have to do that God expect you to do your own part. Man, do your research. Visit our website, seanpinder.net. Visit the miracle section where we have miracle testimonies and photos of many people that were healed in our meetings. Are you listening to me? Watch videos by other men of God. Watch the miracles that took place on, other, on even other videos that we have where we share miracles of healing, where we are praying for the sick on a Thursday or Sunday night and people are typing in the chat and testifying of what they are being healed from. Men, go over those videos because the more you watch it, and the more you the more you listen to it it's getting in your spirit and it's it's actually washing you out of unbelief and it's convincing you more and more it's building up your faith and sure enough before you know it there will come a moment when the power of the holy ghost when the healing power of god because your faith becomes so strong will flow into your life and give you a miracle as well. But you got to do your part. Read the healing scriptures. Don't just read the healing scriptures. I want you to see what this woman did. She applied another strategy. Listen to this. It says, she came in the crowd and touched his garment, verse 28, for she said, if I may but touch his clothes, I shall be made whole. Listen, if we are having a meeting, if we were to come to your area, do what this woman did. She left her house she did not get healed in her house. Like the centurion servant, Jesus spoke the word and the man got healed at his house. No, this woman had to leave her house, which means that you have to be willing to leave your natural surroundings and get in an atmosphere of the ministry of the man of God that's flowing in signs, wonders, and miracles. Get in that atmosphere and what would happen is that same faith, the faith of everyone that's believing God for miracles, you will receive an impartation of that gift of faith and even you would receive your miracle. Well, I know you say, well, pastor, I'm already doing it. Well, you are doing it to a great measure because you're listening to this broadcast right now. But what you got to do is continue listening to these broadcasts, especially a broadcast like yesterday where the healing power of God fell real heavy. Go over that thing over and over and over again. Go over all of these teachings from this series I'm teaching this week. Because the more you listen to me sharing reports of other people that were healed and praying for people and the power of God falling, what it's doing is it's increasing your faith and it's positioning your spirit to receive a miracle from God. Can you say amen? Now watch this. For she said, if I may but touch his clothes, I shall be made whole. So we see another principle. She began to declare her healing by faith. After she was convinced of the reports that she heard, she was so convinced that now she's beginning to speak this thing and declare it. For she said, quit talking about how sick you are. I'm not impressed when you talk about how sick you are. And I'm not also, I'm not a doctor. So you don't have to give me that long laundry list. I know you are sick and you're healed. Get right to the point. Pastor Sean, I have cancer. 
I, I'm believing God to heal me. Just get right to the point because the more you discuss that stuff, for some of you, I'm not saying to deny reality, but some of you, I can tell that that thing is really controlling your mind and your spirit and it has you in unbelief and even, and even with a spirit of negativity. So this woman began to declare it. And I'm not talking about just saying stuff religiously. I'm talking about saying it with anointing and power and conviction because the Holy Spirit's dealing with you and you are convinced. This woman was convinced and she began to speak it into existence. You got to begin to speak those things which be not as though they were. She was speaking a healing into existence for she said, if I may be touched his clothes, I shall be whole. For she said it. She began to say it with conviction. I hear people say it and even read some people's statements and I can tell there's no faith there whatsoever. In fact, I get grieved reading some people's statements because they, they're just saying it out of a religious spirit. But you got to make an effort on your part. You got to put time in. You got to get focused. You got to concentrate on it. Focus. If you need a healing from God, zero in on the thing. Focus on it. Go after it. Pursue it. Read books on healing. Listen to our videos. Are you hearing me? L read the testimonies on our website. Begin to consume it. Don't miss a broadcast, especially the broadcast where I'm teaching on healing. I mean, just make a playlist on YouTube and just listen to all of those broadcasts back to back to back. Go to bed listening to it. Wake up because as you do, the word of God is getting in your spirit. Do you know in the book of Proverbs chapter four, the Bible says the word of God is health to our flesh. Are you listening to me? As you get the word in your spirit concerning healing, the word of God will bring healing into your life. Psalms 107 verse 20 says, for he sent his word and heal them. His word, the, the word of God has power to heal. For she said, if I may but touch his clothes, I shall be whole. And immediately the fountain of her blood was dried up. And she felt in her body that she was healed of that plague. Now watch verse 30. Jesus immediately knowing in himself that virtue had gone out of him, turned around in the crowd and said, who touched my clothes? And his disciples said, thou seest the multitude brushing up against you. How can you say, who touched me? And he looked about to see her that had done this thing. But the woman faring and trembling, knowing what was done in her, came and fell down before him and told him all the truth. And Jesus said unto her daughter, your faith have made you whole. Go in peace and be whole of your plague. Now watch this. Notice verse 30 said, Jesus immediately knowing in himself that virtue or power or healing anointing had gone out of him. So you see, it took the faith of this woman and it also took the healing power of the resurrected Christ. So not only do you need to work on your faith, building your faith up, but you also need to get around a known ministry for healing that has the healing anointing flowing out of it. Don't just go to any ministry. I'm not downing anybody. If you need heart surgery, you're not going to go to a foot doctor. Are you listening to me? If you need brain surgery, you're not going to go to a doctor who works on your heart. Are you, do you see where I'm coming from? You will, go to a, you will go to a doctor that specializes in that area. And what you got to do is you have to respect the protocol of the Holy Ghost. Now, I totally understand. God didn't call every ministry to focus on healing. I know better than that. But he certainly have called our ministry. So every ministry you know, that's a genuine ministry of healing that have real miracles happening in it. You need to listen to their videos, be a part of their broadcast, because what's happening is you are doing exactly what this woman with the issue of blood did. She did not go to the Pharisees or the Sadducees or the scribes. She went to Jesus. She went to his ministry because his ministry was known to bring healing into people's lives. And as a result of her faith, what happened? The power of the Lord Jesus Christ flowed into that woman's body and made a whole. So we see several things at work here. She took a risk. She kept listening to reports of Jesus, the miracles that was taking place in Jesus' life. And then she began to declare her healing. She began to declare her healing. And then she acted on it. And when she did, the power 
the healing power of the Lord Jesus flowed out of his body into her body and immediately she was made whole. I remember preaching, preaching a miracle service in India a few years ago. Whilst I was preaching that meeting, the Holy Ghost showed me by the word of knowledge that there was a woman in, in, the, in the audience who had an issue of blood for several years and the doctors were not able to cure it. That young woman said, Pastor Sean, that's me. She came forward and listened. I didn't, I didn't really even pray for her real long because I felt the power of God at work. I said, go to the restroom and check yourself. You'll notice that there's no more bleeding. And in fact, I want you to come back tomorrow because I want to give you, I want to give you a whole 24-hour period and come back and testify tomorrow night of what the Lord did. Sure enough, she came back the next night and she said, Pastor Sean, I am completely cured. There's no more issue of blood. I'm completely healed by the power of the resurrected Christ recipe for healing. Don't you just love the word of the living God? You are great. You do No, no, you, you're doing wonders in our midst. Wonders in our midst. Come on and help me worship it. Lift your hands to heaven this morning. You're doing wonders in our midst. Mighty God you are. You're doing wonders in our midst. Faithful God, faithful God, hallelujah, hallelujah. Listen, I want to make this announcement again. I will be coming to Freeport, Bahamas, March the 8th and the 9th of 2019 for a citywide miracle crusade. I want you to bring the sick bring the disease, bring the blind, bring the deaf, bring the dumb, bring the paralyzed, bring them all. And let's believe God for the impossible. Are you listening to me? There is going to be an atmosphere of faith. The healing power of God is going to be present. Jesus said, I am the same yesterday, today, and forever. He said to Jeremiah, I am the God of all flesh. Is there anything too hard for the Lord? So I'm inviting you that live in Nassau, that live in Freeport, that live in Abaco, Bimini, Bahamas, the, the Out Islands. We are inviting you to be a part of that citywide miracle crusade in Freeport, Bahamas, 2019. That's March the 8th and the 9th of 2019. And I'm looking forward to seeing all of you guys there because the power of God is going to be present to heal. Are you listening to me? Also, we want to give you an invitation to sow a seed into this ministry. If you love the gospel that we are preaching, if God is using this broadcast and this ministry to be a blessing to your life, we ask that you support it to the best of your ability. We know you can't do it all, but you can do your small part. And that's all God's asking you to do. So to sow a seed into the ministry, to give a donation, to show your support, visit us online and give through the ministry secured website, seanpender.net forward slash give or you can also give through the ministry paypal account which is paypal.me forward slash sean pinder ministries if you prefer to mail in your donations make your checks and money orders out to sean pinder ministries p.o box 117442 carrollton texas 75011 -7442. We also give you an invitation to subscribe to our YouTube channel. You can do it by clicking on the red and white button at the bottom right of this video right now so that every time we go live or make a new upload, you will receive a notification from YouTube. Are you listening to me? Become a part of our YouTube family. We are taking this broadcast to 1 million subscribers on YouTube and then beyond. If you're watching us through Facebook, we give you an invitation to subscribe to our Facebook group. It's called I Believe in Miracles. Send us a request and we will be happy to accept you into our Facebook group. It's called I Believe in Miracles. And remember, Pastor Sean and Pastor Amy, we love you guys daily. We appreciate you, we believe in you. And we are looking forward to being with you again on tomorrow morning as we talk about Jesus Christ the Healer. We are continuing our series. And remember, we look for your comments underneath this video. We want to hear from you. 
Let us know that you receive a miracle of healing in your body. Tell us exactly how long you had the problem, what you are healed from, if you are on medication, if you are seeing a doctor. Let us know exactly what you were healed from and how long you had that problem. God bless you. We love you. I'll see you again on tomorrow. Take care. Bye-bye.